num 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 Oi. Hello everyone, my name is Paulina and I'm a knitaholic. I love knitting and crochet and basically I haven't said this phrase for literally a month. Can you imagine that? So there hasn't been a new video for a month. By the way, if you've forgotten, here are my friends, uh, Ginny and Galia, who helped me craft. And uh, you can see them in the intro for the channel. Let's put them aside so they can watch me making this video. Uh -huh. yeah. Oops. Nice and cozy. Yeah. Stay put. <laughs> Here we go. So it's been literally a month since the previous video and I cannot imagine that. I used to shoot pretty often, at least more often than uh, this time. Uh, what is the reason behind all that? I needed to show you something because uh, knitting takes time, you know. Well, who if not you? You should know that. It takes quite a lot of time and uh, effort so I really wanted to accumulate a few projects to show you and boast and brag before making this video, so now I'm ready. To start with, if you haven't checked this out, here is the cushion, the latest tutorial on the channel. Yeah, here's the zip. It's this size, so you can see. Uh, it's made of Alize Burkum yarn, which I used in the bed cover I worked on previous, in the previous year. And it's cute, isn't it? Uh, perfect for a girl's bedroom for St. Valentine's Day, as I promoted it on the channel. But definitely a good one for a girl's room. If I had a daughter, I would definitely make such a cushion. In different colors, probably. I'd probably change some of the colors, but these were just... Uh, the colors left from the bed cover and I put them in this cushion. Really nice. I just love the massage effect it has if you touch it. It's, it has texture. Touchable, really. A really touchable thing. Um, I would probably even make the distance between the hearts even smaller to make the length a little bit shorter now but well as for me I, it doesn't really bother me and i'm perfectly fine with this cushion so if you haven't checked it out and you love crocheting or you would like to try mosaic crochet uh, here's the link below the video you could click on it and watch the tutorial it's pretty detailed yeah so if you know how to do some basic stitches you should be fine with that. So that's the first thing I wanted to show you. The quick reminder that I have that tutorial. What I'm currently working on is the bomber jacket, but before that, the finished project. Let's start with the finished project. Well, if you look at these, what do you think these are? <laughs> Quite a funny. Go, uh, a funny project, I should say. These are knee warmers for my husband. Uh, you know, uh, in this time of year when it's not cold uh, to wear some thermos, thermo clothes beneath your jeans and uh, jacket, uh, you want your knees to be warm, uh, but at the same time you don't want bulkiness below your jeans so he asked me to knit a pair of knee warmers for him I picked this yarn which is 50% uh, wool 50% acrylic and uh, it's really woolly it looks like, as if it's uh, undyed wool 100% wool but it's lighter so acrylic makes it lighter and uh, I'd say it's around 200 meters in 100 grams I'll Put the name of the the, tight, the name of the yarn and uh, the yardage below the video. And I did these pretty quickly, using like 
four millimeter needles or something like that. And I followed a rough tutorial uh, on some website uh, in Russian, which I found quite a while ago and I wanted to try them out. Basically, the structure is very simple. You first need uh, one by one ribbon, flat. Uh, then you start these um, neat rows and pearl rows and you, you sort of add one more stitch to this pattern. You don't add any stitches, you just change the ribbon uh, for this pattern uh, bit by bit. And you add short rows in each of these, so to make this place for the knee itself, for the knee, for the knee cap, uh, for the knee cap. And then you decrease a few stitches, and uh, these are ready to go. I also put inserted. I also inserted some spandex ribbon using a crochet hook, two rows here at the bottom, one in the middle and one at the top. But to tell you the truth, these don't seem enough, <laughs> sadly. Uh, he's tried wearing these and uh, they keep sliding down, especially when you move and uh, if you wear jeans. It's bound to happen. I have no idea how to <laughs> make them stay on the leg uh, properly. Otherwise, uh, other than use some, I don't know, Velcro <laughs> on the on this thing and on the jeans. So you just stick it uh, and they should stay put. Um, I have no idea how to fix this thing. Uh, it's better with spandex ribbon. It's better than without it. My husband says that he would just use some kind of uh, pins to pin these to the jeans, but I'm not quite sure it's the best idea. I wonder if I used some yarn which has more lycra or some elastic thread, would it make a difference if I had used such a yarn? Would it have made any difference? Well, I have no idea. When you move uh, this slip, Anyway, I'm not sure that even uh, elastic yarn could help. If you've tried uh, knitting knee warmers or something like that and have any proper advice, reasonable one, uh, please share in the comments because I'm a little bit at a loss on what to do with this garment. I'm not going to unpick it, but I'm not sure that he's gonna wear this, at least not this spring. It's getting warm pretty quickly. It's now about 10 degrees Celsius above zero at the moment, and um, I'm not really sure you need these. You can do without them, and maybe until spring I'll figure out what to do with them, how to fix this thing. If you need a thorough tutorial on how to knit such knee warmers, I could at least, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure I could just take a yarn and knit another pair. I'm not, I don't really need them, but I could uh, show them in detail and uh, make like five to ten minute long video uh, explaining each step and the number of stitches, how you calculate them. Because they, these fit well. I'm, I'll show you a picture of this uh, in the video in a moment. So if you do need uh, a quick tutorial on how to need this, uh, let me know in the comments. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do it immediately. Uh, I do need your support and it makes me happy to see new subscribers and comments. Do, do not forget to comment, don't be shy. I'm actually one of these uh, people who watch videos and very rarely comment. I'd say I have started commenting more uh, when I started this channel. That's probably when I started uh, writing more comments because I do understand now how much time and effort people put in these videos. So if you have something to share and comment or ask, do it in the comment section below the video. I really appreciate your being active and it helps to promote the channel at the same time. So 
that's my finished project. Two of them, yeah? Uh, the knee, the, I wanted to say knee cushion. <laughs> my goodness. The cushion uh, or a pillowcase. Uh, actually, it just has a pillow inside. Uh, knee warmers. And we are coming to the walk-in project, which is uh, the one that I'm really looking forward to finishing. I do need this bomber jacket. I'm using a tutorial by um, Elena, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, need flight eat repeat on Instagram, if I'm not mistaken, uh, her account. And she has this great pattern. Oh, I haven't put, oh, I haven't put the other color. Okay, I'll show it anyway in a moment. So that's uh, what I'm doing at the moment. I've already finished the back detail. Here are the shoulders, the neck opening, and basically it's worked flat without any increases or decreases. I just marked where the uh, arm cap is going to be. So she says you don't need to increase if you are a girl and don't have very broad shoulders. We'll see how it goes. I'm personally not quite sure, but uh, this time I'm following a tutorial to the how to say to the T? Yeah, how do you say it? Like uh, all the information in the tutorial without improvising. Uh, actually, it has uh, diamonds, a diamond pattern, which is not very visible on this yellow. I'm not sure how it is on the camera, but it has a diamond pattern of uh, knit stitches and pearl stitches form these diamonds. These are really cute. The yarn that I'm using is a blend of lamb's wool and silk and it's 191 meters in 50 grams, so it's relatively thin. And uh, I have bought it in the shop called Vega Wool uh, in St. Petersburg. And the um, article, the title of the yarn itself is City 3. Yeah, City 3. I'm using this mustard color and the one that I uh, haven't brought is um, I would call it ebony, like the color of um, like graphite. I'm not sure you say graphite, like carbon color, dark gray, very dark gray, uh, a little bit lighter than uh, asphalted road when wet, yeah, a little bit lighter. Oh, I would say that. Oh, spoiler, this one. Very similar to this color. I'll show these in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> little spoiler of what's going on in the video. Uh, so I'm, I've already finished the back part. It does take time, that's why I haven't uh, made any video in a month, you see. I'm working on 3.25 millimeter bamboo needles, sick knit. Uh, I showed these in one of my previous uh, podcasts and uh, I love them. They are a little bit shorter than regular. I would say about like 9 or 10 centimeters long and they are very light. I've never worked on a big project on bamboo needles before and I'm loving it. Great scene. It's turning pretty well. Turning out pretty well. I'm now working on the front details and you see the difference. <laughs> it's been washed and this hasn't yet. There are two details, two parts, uh, which I'm going to wash afterwards, of course, before putting them together. Nothing basically to say about them, uh, apart from the fact that I'm almost uh, on the level where I need to do... Oops, I've touched the mic, sorry. I need to do the uh, neck opening decreases and shoulders at the same time. I'm looking forward to finishing these two because uh, then I'll work on the sh on the sleeves and this will be the greater part of it, like makes the vest of the bomber jacket. Then there are the sleeves and all the finishing, sewing on all these together and there are lots of details. So there is a front band uh, with buttons, there is this collar piece which is striped and the bottom uh, finishing which is also striped like a typical um, bomber jacket if it's not like um, it's not like a jacket like made of some synthetic material if it's if it's uh, 
made of fabric, right? Uh, very similar. And the, that's what I love about it. I don't have uh, very many garments which are cardigans or have buttons. And this one is not going to be very warm. Con even considering that it has quite a lot of um, merino lamb's wool in it, it's still not uh, super warm. It's not, it, it has, it has this uh, lovely coating of a woolen fabric, you know, when you touch it, it's a bit, how to call it, a velvety to the touch. Mm. But it's not fluffy, it's not more hair or angora, so not super warm. And perfect probably for now, for wearing it now, so I do need this one to finish it. Um, Forget, forgive me for not bringing the gray color. I'm not going to pause and go to another room at the moment. You'll see anyway, uh, I'm sure that you'll see the sleeves in the following podcast because I'm about to finish this front part. That's what I have left of the yellow color. I'm Oh yeah, I'm working on two pieces at once. So I'm using two uh, skeins, two balls of yarn, yeah, cakes of yarn, whatever you call this. And then I'll proceed on working with the on the on the sleeves, which are going to be easier, I believe, uh, because they are just striped, uh, neat and pearl rose um, stripes, and uh, will be easier to follow than doing these diamonds. So that is uh, what's on my needles now. I've got a purchase as well. Uh, guys, I'm sorry for not unpacking it on camera, but I couldn't resist the temptation to open the box and it was pretty large, larger than I thought it would be. Uh, and I just unpacked it uh, at the peak point when I got it and got rid of the packaging at, at the moment. So, uh, as a spoiler you saw <laughs> a few minutes before, uh, this is cord. Basically, it's a synthetic cord, which is three millimeter wide. And um, this is used for making bags. Bags, uh, backpacks, uh, and uh, other accessories similar to them. I love the gradient. Uh, actually, when I saw it, um, when I saw the picture, it seemed uh, um, a bit more probably not 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 uh, the colors here are very how to say contrasting yeah so the contrast between this dark navy and this uh, I would say something like light gray it's a bit um, dusty I would say not very not very clear this color the contrast is really impressive but given the fact that I I'm going to use uh, gray leather parts. Um, this should be fine. I love the, well, considering the name of my channel, <laughs> Tikva Hobbies, I love all colors of pumpkin. Tikva is a pumpkin in Russian, if you uh, haven't uh, heard me explaining that before. So I love this orangey color. Love it, love them. So here are the, how to call them, braids, <laughs> braids of, of yarn of cord. And that's the leather details that I've bought. This is going to be the bottom of the backpack. I haven't mentioned that I'm working, I'm gonna work on a backpack. Oh my goodness, I haven't done it. So that's the bottom part. This will be all oh, this clanking of the, of the lock. <laughs> uh, Okay, this will be the front part, this flapping one. It has these holes for uh, crocheting into them. There are, so this will, you need to pull it to pull your backpack, yeah, to close it. And I've got two adjustable straps. I have nothing to do with uh, leather working, so it was way easier for me to purchase these things. And uh, why am I showing this to you? Because I purchased a tutorial on how to crochet 
a backpack a few weeks ago. Uh, to be precise, on the 8th of March, International Women's Day, there was a discount and, you know, we're all bound to make impulsive purchases. Uh, so, uh, actually, it was not that impulsive. I've been, I'd been following the girl for quite a while, the designer who makes such backpacks. It's very detail detailed. I've watched the tutorial. My goodness, it's over five hours long. It's in Russian, sadly, not in English. So might be not as easy if you want to try it yourself uh, and don't know the language. So I'm going to make a backpack. Uh, as soon as I finish the bomber jacket, uh, which I'm really looking forward to, I love how it's turning out, I will uh, start working on this project. I'll have to rewatch the tutorials, of course. I've watched uh, the greater part and it's very detailed, so it should be no problem. Apart from the fact that I've never worked on uh, bags, I'm lying. I've once made de de details for a crochet bag, but that was long ago and uh, I never ended up sewing them together and uh, they are somewhere at my mom's place. So it will be a backpack. You need a, like literally this weigh for this weigh about 400 grams. <laughs> So rather heavy. My husband, when he saw these, he said, well, my goodness, these are heavier than your backpack uh, that you wear on a daily basis. Uh, why do you need this? I don't know. It's just beautiful. <laughs> I want to try it out. So I'll work on this. Then I will need to sew the lining. And uh, I've never... I haven't worked, let's put it like this, I haven't uh, used the sewing machine for a while and when I did it was at high school and uh, I was very, I wasn't confident. I'm not, I'm not sure I can do it all on my own. I will probably ask my husband to help me because uh, he is way more confident with sewing. Uh, if you watched, if you watched my video on a fair isle uh, vest, I showed the beret hat that he sewed for me a couple years ago for a role-playing game experience. Uh, so he can do it way better than me. But on the other hand, it looks like a challenge that I want to take and I want to do the line in myself at the same time. So I don't know. I might ask him to help, but I'll try to do the greater part myself. Maybe practice a little bit before sewing it We'll figure it out. I'm going to shoot little videos on how I'm working on this uh, backpack. It might be exciting both for me and you. Uh, share in the comments your opinion or what you think of uh, crocheted bags and accessories in general. And this is basically this is it for today. So I've got uh, the cushion knee warmers, uh, bomber jacket and project, and a purchase, uh, which I'm really looking forward to starting. Oh, yeah, so this is it for today. It's been a while. I've been, I'm being chatty today, <laughs> it seems. So uh, share what you are working on at the moment, please. If you use my tutorials, by the way, don't forget to tag me on Instagram and uh, I don't know. <laughs> you could write uh, under the video that you're working on it and if you have any questions, please ask them. I'll be happy to help if, if I can. So, I don't re even want to say goodbye. I could chat like that for hours. <laughs> so, have a nice day. Thank you for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up to support me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already. Haven't done it yet, sorry. Uh, so, this is it for today. See you in the next video and bye-bye!